At the end of every battle, the commanding officers from either side would write up a summary of what had happened in that particular battle and send it off to whomever they regarded to be their higher headquarters or supervening authority. So for the British, of course, they send these reports up their chain of command. In the American context, many of these units fighting the war are militia organizations, and they write back to the state assembly and sometimes uh, to, to more local authorities to report what had happened. The idea behind these after-action reports is to faithfully relay the events but a lot of times also to make reputations. Most people who served in the capacity of officer, whether it's a, a British Army officer, a Continental Army officer, or a militia officer, are designing men who have great aspirations in life. And these reports provide them an opportunity to make their own reputations and also to single out other officers who they think are especially deserving of praise to help them build those reputations as well. So there's kind of a mixed purpose to these after action reports. Tell hires what has happened and also give credit where credit is due and in some cases where they wished it was due.